Well, joining me now to discuss this is Robert Driscoll, who's a former Justice Department official. Robert, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. So, obviously, we, we don't know who uh, leaked this. We can have, make some educated guesses. How, how will the FBI go about trying to find out where this came from? Well, I imagine if they got the referral from the IRS, there's some indication that the IRS thinks it's an internal job. I think it would have to be, as a practical matter, you never know. But um, to have that many taxpayers for that many years, they all don't use the same accountant. They all don't use the same lawyers, the same tax preparers. So I think, uh, you know, the, it has to come from the IRS. Then the question would be, is it a hack or is it a leak? And I think that uh, that's what they'll look at. And I would suspect if it was a hack, we would have known about it by now. And if it's a leak, uh, most high-value government documents are stored in some kind of traceable format. So you would know kind of who's accessed it and who's looked at it. And I would hope that particularly sensitive documents like these high net worth tax returns would, are probably segregated by the IRS. So they'll start there with the IRS's own IT team to look at who's accessed it, and that's where they'll start with their list. And they'll the, work their way out from there. As you just heard from David Spunt at the Justice Department, they have essentially sworn off um, go, you know, uh, going, after, going after journalists in this way in the way that both the Trump and the Obama administrations did, uh, you know, did try to, um, to exempt to, to find out from journalists. And journalists obviously don't reveal their sources. So that'll be kind of a dry well. Presumably they won't. But, right. but is there anything they can do that they might try to do legally? I mean, again, we saw that with the Obama administration in particular going so far as actually um, you know, pursuing journalists. Is there anything even in principle they could do to try and get those journalists to, to, to cough up the information? Uh, you start running into a First Amendment issue there. Mm. You know, you run into the Pentagon Papers case and other cases that there's a distinction between illegally obtaining government documents and printing documents that have been illegally obtained. Um, if ProPublica's story is to be believed, the documents are simply dropped off at their door mm. and they, um, you know, uh, don't have any involvement with that. They just kind of got them, which is interesting. They even chose to publish them in those circumstances where they really can't know where they came from. Um, but, I, you know, it's not as clean as people make it seem in terms of involving the media or not. For example, if they have suspects in the IRS and um, uh, they, they look at their cell phone toll records and there's cell phone calls to reporters from ProPublica, I mean, that's still evidence that you're going to have from other sources right. uh, that would draw a link between an individual and a media organization. That, that's different than investigating the media organization itself, but those connections might still be drawn. So there's a lot forensically the FBI can do, and I'd be concerned if I were the leaker. Robert, it's, and it's hard to overstate the seriousness of this, isn't it? I mean, this is, this is, about, as, this is about as damaging to, in, to individuals. It doesn't matter whether you think of these individuals and whether you think they should pay more taxes or whatever. They followed the law. They did nothing wrong. They were absolutely in accordance, as, as far as we know. Everything we know says that they were, they were in compliance with the law. Right. They did everything legally. And their deep private information has been exposed. That this, this, this is really, again, about as serious as it gets, right? Oh, oh it is. And, and the damage is, is to the institution of the IRS. Mm. The whole idea of the government, if you're going to, uh, as a taxpayer, turn over sensitive information for the government, it's with a level of trust that it's not going to get leaked. And I think that, you know, the decision as to whether or not uh, some political issue is more important than this privacy. That's supposed to be an institutional decision made by the institution itself, not by any individual. And so I think the institution, regardless of politics, has to come down heavy on whoever did this. And, and the government can do this. I mean, I, I represented a client in the last couple of years who had confidential uh, records released from FinCEN at the Department of Treasury, and uh, there was a, a woman prosecuted for that who's just sentenced six months in jail. So, I mean, yes, you, it, it can happen that government employees who leak confidential data can be prosecuted. The government's done it before, and I assume they'll do it here if they get the right information. And, and they should, because just, the institution deserves the loyalty of its people. Right, and, and as you say, Devin, just briefly, finally, um, it really does undermine trust. Um, it does make a lot of people think you know, why, why, should I, why, sh why should I hand over my information when I'm assured that it's going to be kept private, but it isn't held private? It will, right. it's, it's, you know, as a practical matter, it will surely affect a lot of people the way they, they view their whole relationship with the government. Well, it, exactly. And there is no rule of law if every individual employee can make their own decision about what's right in any given circumstance. The whole idea is there's a set of rules, the government follows them, and we can have some trust in that. And it's up to every uh, individual IRS employee to decide, well, in this instance, I'll follow the rules, and in this instance, I won't because I'm serving a higher cause. 
then the entire system of government breaks down. And so it's not just in the taxpayer's interest, although it is. They were wronged severely by this. It's really in the IRS's interest, the Treasury Department's interest, and the entire government's interest to come down like a ton of bricks on whoever uh, broke trust with the American people and with the taxpayers in this way. We'll see indeed whether that does in fact happen. Robert Driscoll, thanks very much for joining us.